exciting news guys so a new version of Simulan, which is a, a better version has just been released right and uh, this is mainly available in the discord channel of the beta testing uh, or discord for Simulan. and this um, new version has amazing new features so the way to get it is you go to the discord go to the announcements uh, channel over here in the announcements and then you're gonna see it the link right here so there's the link uh, to test flight so go ahead and click on that link it's gonna take you to this page and make sure you have test flight installed right and if you don't have it make sure that you get it this is not yet available for Android it's mainly for iOS and when you've done the installation of test flight then you can click on the better version inside of test flight okay so let's go ahead and tap that and i've already installed it so it will show up over here and you can see that it's version 0 0.127.2 it's going to be available for 90 days right and so that's how you install the new better version uh, make sure that you sign up for the beta if you want to get access to it. So that's how you install the new version of uh, Similan, which has an amazing array of new features. So, so make sure you, again, you have test flight and make sure you're in that uh, beta testing Discord channel and then you'll be able to use it. So I've installed it. If you're not, at this point, if it's not yet installed, you see uh, an install button. But when it's ready, just click on open, right? So... This is my tablet that I'm using on. So if you have an iOS account and you have your phone attached to that account, right? You can then go to test flight, you'll hit test flight over here and you see the better version of uh, the new Simulan right there. So I'm just going to tap on it to open it. And by default, it's going to ask you to create a username. This one can be custom. And you can change it later on and then when you're ready go next and you can also add a profile picture right there and then go ahead and add if you're not you can skip it also and there we go now we have access to the new Simulan version and you can see it's available or oh, this is I'm using my iPhone 14 uh, Pro Max and this is a starting point and you'll be able to add your own assets or you can use the assets that are provided by Similan. okay so down at the bottom right here you click on assets over here and you notice that it says fail to connect to Similan. that's because there's a desktop version that you need to install it looks the uh, icon looks like that and you can find it on uh, similand.com over there and under downloads on the website just click go to downloads and install your similar so it's available for pc and for android as well so once you have the similar app installed it show up on your desktop double click on it and then it's going to bring up this window that asks you to scan the qr code in order to sign it so this issue that you see right here means that you need to scan that QR code to be able to log in. So let's do that. The way you do, you scan from the phone, click on your profile picture up in the corner over here. And there's a little gear right there. Tap on it. And make sure that you have this enabled connect your hub so by default it will look something like that and make sure you turn it on like that okay and click on that area that says scan QR code tap on that and now this will show up it says Simon would like to access the camera Simon uses the camera for air and QR code scanning so go ahead and click on allow now you can pick up the phone and go ahead and scan the QR code, which will show up as that. So it says the 
token has expired, okay? If it says the token has expired, go ahead and close the simulant app and set it again. All right, and the QR code will show up again over there. Let's try again. This time, let's bring up the iPhone again and try to scan the QR code. All right, so that worked. When you encounter token expired, just restart your Simulan hub right there that has just been installed and use your iPhone to be able to log in again. So this is where you're gonna find your uploads over here, your reality bridge, like the ones that you're gonna be able to use in Blender. And then you can adjust the settings. This is where you set the path for the version of Blender that you're using and just click on that and be able to do an auto path or a manual path and then find the location of a blender. And so for mine, I'm using uh, 4.0. So I'll be able to, if I click over here and I say auto, it's gonna automatically detect the default version of blender. So make sure you use the most recent version of blender, right? So I just wanted to run you real quick through what you need to do to install the new Simulan. And then I'm gonna do an in-depth uh, tutorial of how to use this. There's another tutorial that I also shared that you can take a look at, but this is an exciting day. And here are some of the examples that you'll be able to create with the new features like uh, depth of field, being able to composite a human being inside of a Simulan. It, it's really cool. And I'm also gonna be using this to uh, create new content using my robot. This is amazing. <laughs> This character was modeled in Maya and uh, rigged using Character Creator. So thank you so much for joining me again today. I just wanted to run you through how to install and run the new beta version of uh, Simulan and how the UI is so much different compared to the previous version. So I will do another in-depth version for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream, guys. As always, I'm praying for you. Much love and have a blessed week. Bye for now.